Hey, I'm here today with Benny Branch with KMC out of Tifton. Benny, thanks for taking the time for us. Want to talk a little bit about KMCs, just real briefly, about the house cleaner, or as we call it, a decaker. So, is there anything new or just some things that's coming out l lately that is on the caking machine? Sure. A uh, couple of things that we've uh, improved on our dump model uh, poultry house cleaner, which is what you have right here, 4260D, is a, a, a new rear door. We've, we've done it just for a couple of years. Uh, it opens up much better. Um, the latches are improved so it stays closed uh, better and more secure not to drop out any litter. It, and you don't have to worry so much about backing up into a pile which on some older models may have caused some damage to the door and things like that. So it's a much more robust um, uh, rear door on, on the poultry house cleaner. As far as poultry house cleaners or decakers in general, they're, they're kind of two primary types. One is a dump model where the tank stands up to dump the litter out and the other has a floor chain in it. And so it, it's important for customers to get that litter unloaded quickly so they can get back in the house quickly. And so this helps. You don't have to worry so much about the exact position that you're backing into the pile or, or damaging anything. So it just makes it a lot quicker uh, for the farmer. So which is better, dump or chain unload? Uh, if you want to spread anything, you'll have to have the chain unload. Okay. But if you're not having to spread anything, a lot of customers uh, like to dump. Okay. Okay. Uh, Benny, tell me about the blower. So it looks like you got a new blower here, and give me some, give me some things about KMC's blower. Okay. Sure. This is our uh, poultry house blower. It's got a, a lot of different things that's different than some, some of the competitors. Okay. Uh, one, we've got a really wide angle as far as that we can position the, the discharge chute, it can blow, uh, it's, it's almost blowing down on the ground yeah. right here, yeah. but it can swing all the way over right to left, where it can blow either wall, blow the ceiling, it's, it's got a really good position. Very versatile. Very versatile for there. Um, the discharge, we actually turned that a little bit different than some competitive units. You know, think if, if, if you're wanting to uh, paint the side of a house, you're going to have your brush like this. Yes. You're not going to angle your brush like yeah. this. Because you go over spray. Simple. So, we, we, we turn that discharge to do a good job of brushing and, and brushing the wall uh, with coverage. the air to get, to get better coverage. Yeah, yeah. Better coverage. Do that. A couple of other unique things. Uh, down here on, on the bottom, we've got some skids, which sure. just sits on the ground. Uh, some applications you don't want those skids dragging through your house sure we've got a little pin to pull just to let yeah. those skids come up so you don't have to set this down on top of concrete blocks sure. and things like that you're you're hook it from your tractor. Yep. Yeah. so it's, it's just quick and easy to, to hook up and to unhook and then those skids get out of the way when you're operating in the house well it seems to me that KMC's kind of focused a little more on versatility you got more hoses you got be able to back your doors in, not have to be too particular about how you can adjust this. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. uh, farmers all over the place have their own unique way of the way sure. they want to do things. Yeah. And so you need to be versatile. Yeah, uh, right. Everybody doesn't think the same or yeah. the same thing. Absolutely. Benny, a lot of these growers now, Integrator is making them windrow. They're either having to rent a windrow machine or they're buying one. So. If they're going to buy one, what are some things they need to look for? What has KMC got going on? Sure. This is our uh, uh, KMC litter wind rower. We do a couple of things a little bit different than, than some of, than some models. Uh, we've got uh, uh, two augers, and they're they're counter rotating in, the, okay. in that they bring the litter up against the blade and up around the back. They're, they're not throwing it out sure. toward the front. That helps the machine be. Uh, a lot more efficient because if you're throwing the litter out the front then the machine has to handle that litter yeah. several times before it can actually uh, do its work to it. It's a mess out in the front yep. too, big old thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. anytime you're throwing that towards the operator is not a good <laughs> not a good thing to do. Uh, also it's, it's PTO powered so we're putting the full power of the tractor back to the implement where it can do the work. Uh, some other models may be hydraulically powered where you're limited there on sure. what the, the horsepower you can get out of that. Sure. Uh, on the discharge end here, we do some unique things as it's moving the litter over uh, very quickly here. We have a, uh, a little rake on the end, and any time you have a, a clump of litter or something that it doesn't break up right. with the dual auger right. system, it'll slam it into that little rake and help uh, pulverize it uh, on the end more. Yeah. Benny, I know a, a lot of people, when they have to clean out their house, you don't get to the wall, you're going to leave some bacteria in there. You're going to have some litter in there. 
and a lot of times it gets left in there. So how does this help? How does your wall cleaner help? Sure. As you mentioned, with a, with a large decaker or poultry house clean-out machine, sometimes you can't get all the way up to yeah. the wall. And uh, you don't want to take a big, heavy piece of equipment that could damage the wall or yeah. things like that. This is a little simple, uh, lightweight tool. Uh, the blade is uh, spring-loaded, so if you have posts or things on your wall, you can work around the posts. It's got uh, uh, a tail wheel on the back to help it keep level. It's got the uh, a plastic wear guard on the side so that it can really rub right close to the wall to try to get all the last little bit of litter. And as you mentioned, bacteria and everything, you want to try to clean out the house good, it just helps clean it out. All right, Benny, this doesn't seem to be a high dollar piece of equipment when you're talking about the fact that if you leave some bacteria in that house, it can have an impact on the clock. So this looks like, is it, it's pretty affordable, seems like to me it would be. Yes, it should be very affordable and uh, uh, good insurance. Yeah. yeah, for biosecurity, getting that stuff out. That's excellent. All right. Well, Benny, thank you so much for spending time with us today. And um, that's Benny from KMC. So go look at your local dealer and see if you can take advantage of some of these pieces of equipment. All right, so I'm walking by here at the Sunbelt Ag Expo, and I see a very unusual tractor. And Max was kind enough to come out here and talk to me about this and tell me what its specialty is for poultry in particular. So Max, thank you. Very interesting looking tractor. First thing I noticed is the cab digital pressurization control. Please tell me about this thing. Yes, this is a, a very low profile cab to, to work under in, in the chicken farm. And the, the uh, unique uh, uh, unicity of this tractor is that the cab is pressurized, it means that the air pushes outside and is so-called category 4 certified, which means that you are protected from pollen, from dust, and from any kind of pesticide you use in agriculture. Wow, okay. We have a system here that tells you uh, if the control the pressurization and we have two levers of alarms. The first lever tells you that how many working hours you can work in safety and the second alarm tells you you got to change the filter. That's okay. to guarantee maximum protection for the operator. So I'm guessing this sits probably about 5 foot 10 or so? 5'9 yes, with the tires. 5'9 with the tires? Yes. Then. Wow. This is a very unusual. So you've got behind it if you, uh, as you can switch that, you've got a uh, poultry house keeper on it. So that's what indicates right over there, it's, hey, this is what it's made for. Yes, exactly. This is just a, a, a perfect example of what we can do with this low profile cap tractors. Wow. It's actually lower than the Lewis poultry keeper. Wow, that is, uh, that is so cool. How, how much do they weigh? 6,000 pounds. Wow, so 6,000 pounds, that low to the ground, and it's a long profile, so it looks like it'd be a smooth ride. Yeah. Yeah, so, so far, uh, these are the main characteristics of these new tractors. The Antonio Carraro is, uh, is a very old um, company based in Italy since 1910. So we passed already 110 years, and we are um, here in the southeast to uh, promote and sell these beautiful tractors. Awesome. So if somebody was, is wanting that, they can contact you, but you have dealers throughout the southeast United States. You have Oxford, Alabama, I know you said. We have uh, Bannister uh, in Oxford, Alabama. And then we have uh, another distributor up in Virginia. And then me that I'm based in Florida. Okay. So Very we well. have already four dealers in Florida. And then the other dealers in the U.S. are in, more in the West Coast. Well, thank you so much. Very unique but specialized tractor for the poultry industry. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you.